to like me. This ummah has to be much greater than needing a person like me. Subhanallah, look at the humbleness. And it's not that he's just making up some words. He feels sad about it. His students say, after hearing this statement from that person, he was sad for many days. We could see it on his face that he's living a life of sadness, that now the situation has gone so bad that people would need a person like me. After Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahmatullahi alayhi passed away, there was a person whose name was Abu Bakr ibn Athruba. He was known to be Abdal in Iraq. They used to call him Abdal. A special level of people. He says, I saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam in my dream. He was holding, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was holding a hand of a man. I asked him, Ya Rasulullah, who is this man? He said to me, don't you know him? This is Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Waliyullah wa Waliyu Rasulullah. He's Waliyullah and he's Wali of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another person whose name was Abu Yusuf al-Lahyani ibn Lahyan, and he was known for his virtuousness. He says, I, a person saw in his dream that the place where Imam Ahmad was buried, there were many other graves in the cemetery. So all the graves around him, they have a lamp on them. So in his dream, he asked someone like an angel that was there, he asked him, what are these lamps over there? He said, don't you know that Imam Ahmad was buried over here? So all the people of this area, all the people that are buried in these areas, they were forgiven and they got the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal buried around them. People started taking the dust of his grave to have the barakah. Finally, by force, Al-Mutawakkil ala Allah had to put some guards over there and fencing to stop people from getting to the tomb and to the, to the grave. This is the barakah in the life. And subhanallah, see what Ibn Kathir says. The day when the janazah of Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahmatullahi alayhi was carried, as I mentioned, 1.5 million people are performed Salatul Janazah on this virtuous man. But beside these people who were there to perform Salatul Janazah, there were many non-Muslims over there. They wanted to pay respect to Imam Ahmad and get the blessing of seeing the Janazah of Imam Ahmad and as it has been rated in the history, around 20,000 people of Jews and Christians, they became Muslims just by seeing the janazah of Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahmatullahi alayhi. 20,000 people embraced Islam just by looking at the janazah. This person is not speaking a word now. They can't even see his face anymore. But just looking at his janazah, 20,000 people took the shahada. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless these scholars of Islam. And may Allah give us tawfiq to follow their steps in the salah, in the ibadah, in, the, in living the life of taqwa, and in following the deen of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa nisa'il al-muslimin wa al-muslimat wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.